California, Coachella Valley. My name is Roy Dean, and I came to the desert to train. I've been coming here a long time, since my blue belt days. My friends Dan and Anthony were also blue belts back then. We were hungry young students. Now we're third degree black belts, and we're still on the path. Come, take a look. A couple easy options. Again, he's on my knee. I break the grip. Position. I, for me, I like to attack here. I circle and I try to block his foot with mine and then I just drop to a single. Yeah, I really like that. So if he's on the gi, like most people are, we're breaking the grip, pulling. Again, if that leg's already there, it's an easy snatch, right? I can just drop to it. I can put his hand on the floor and go behind. Right? Or I can get him to step, block, and snatch the single. And one more time. There, we break, and then if it's there, take it. If I can put his hand on the floor, I'll jump back. Or, block it. You guys got it? Let's go, one, two, three. Way back, defense, so I can step back like a judo entry. I step behind him and kick, and throw his arm forward, and I can catch his back from there. Okay, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I break, get to my position, he's really defensive, that leg's back, I step back, I throw, he rolls, that's fine. Maybe he wants to give up the two more than the, than the back. Six. Yeah, break, here, that leg's back, I step behind, kick as I throw, try to jump to the back. Again, really defensive guy, what's he going to do? He's probably going to post on my head and, or shoulder there and try to square up with me and take away that side that I'm controlling, okay? So again, when I'm here and I feel that, I go with it. I use this, clear it by, and then back on this side. Okay, again, from here, he's posting squaring, clear. Run back side, all right, one more time. You guys got it? Yes. So one, two, three. Arm bar, I'm gonna fly to knee bar. So we'll say he stands up. When he stands up, I'm gonna cross grip, pass the sleeve to this hand. And I'm going here. You can climb with a foot on the hip, climb for one, arm bar. He pulls the arm out, I shoot my hips up, Uma Plata. He pulls his arm out, I'm gonna post my hand, come back for that star sweep, come right up, switch hands, finish. Okay? So that'll be what most people will work on. Again, he stands up. I pass the sleeve. I hook, elbow deep, pass, sleeve, and climb. Pulls the arm out, hips up, climb. Pulls the arm out, post. Back roll over the shoulder closest to him. Come up. You have to switch grips to finish the takedown. Go ahead. Our belt guys can add the knee bar. You guys got it? Oh. Yes. Let's go, one, two, three. Yeah, just dive under. Yeah. They didn't practice it though. That's here, I just dive under. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dude, that Tell was me nice. if that's what it looks like, Dan. <laughs> How the kids do it. Oh, we got this hand, I think. Mmm. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, we'll lay up this. Make sure you have this and Yeah. Yes. 
space kind of Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Okay. Now look how better your hands are. Okay. Now look, both feet. I can get up. Oh. Keep going. 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 I can get up. Oh, yeah. Try it on the own Yeah. Because I want you to have that swivel. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm Daniel McCallan. I actually started training a little bit of karate when I was in sixth grade. Didn't really enjoy it all that much. Tried a little bit of boxing in middle school. It was okay. And then high school came around. I was kind of getting in trouble. You know, looking for something to do to stay out of trouble. I found judo. I fell in love with it. Jiu Jitsu. That was back in 1996. And uh, I started wrestling my senior year of high school. It was late, but I really started to learn wrestling after high school. It was really when I learned it. Mm -hmm. So I was helping the coach out and doing stuff like that. And, and what's, your, what's your current rank in Jiu Jitsu? Oh, I just Four. got my third degree. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, or, or, and you're a black belt in Judo also? Yep. I got my black belt in judo in 2000, and then got him jiu jitsu, and got that in 2007. The hard part was I had to travel two hours each way to train with Kleber. It was hard to get the instruction out here, so I had to make the travel in order to, to get the techniques. Yeah. The proper so training. Training in those days versus training today, what's the. It's definitely a different game now, the sport game compared to, I think jiu-jitsu back in the day was more for self-defense and realistic scenarios. Now it's more points game and different techniques. Do you, do you like one more than the other? I prefer the old style. That's kind of what I do. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to implicate more of the newer techniques, but I, I stick to what I like to do. Yeah. Just, what's it done for you? Well, I think it's been very positive for me. I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for Jiu-Jitsu. I, I don't like having a boss. I don't want to have a job working nine to five. And, you know, and I was actually getting a lot of trouble. I wasn't going to school. Started martial arts and it really got me something to focus on. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty non-political atmosphere here. Instructors from other academies come train. Um, how do you, how did you make that? Like, what's the secret sauce? Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe because I grew up out in, in this area and a lot of the students are guys I grew up with and we just built a good friendship and it's a very family environment and, you know, we have an open door for anyone to come in, but if they don't have the right attitude, they don't fit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. What, what's going on with your, your body? Like, what kind of injuries have you had over the over the years? Well, I got a herniated C5, C6 on my neck. I got a torn ACL meniscus in this knee. Um, I dislocated this elbow really bad. And uh, yeah, a lot of other little things. Shoulders are hurting, but those are the main ones. Can you talk about the, the elbow? Um, well, I was actually at the, the Pan Ams as a purple belt and uh, my a guy tried to go X guard sweep on me and I posted my arm out and the arm just snapped in half and <laughs> that was it. That put me out for a while. Did you ever think of quitting? No, but it was discouraging because I, I thought I was competing at a pretty high level and then I, I was out for seven months. Mm -hmm. It was hard to get back. I lost the momentum and you know, it, was, it was tough. What uh, what would you say to people that are struggling with jujitsu? Like they're struggling with their own club, or you know, it's not. I don't, they're discouraged. They're thinking of quitting. What's what's your advice? Well, I I don't know if it's the club that's the problem, or if it's they're not fitting in. I would say stick with the jujitsu, but if it's not the right fit, maybe you got to try somewhere else. Mm -hmm.